folks, what's up? Dave Rule here, and uh, this morning, actually, my good buddy and actually my my client, oh, Honoré Levesque, is a, is a pro fitness model, by the way. And uh, how long have you been training you, man? Like two uh, years it's now. It's been almost three years now. Three years now. There you mm -hmm. go. So the guy uh, did the world championships, pro turned pro and stuff. Is a he's pretty much a full time fitness model now. You've probably seen his face in magazines and stuff, or in underwear for an underwear company or yeah. <laughs> or a clothing company, but. Anyway, he's a pretty famous dude. <laughs> or maybe you've seen my hair. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, so he invited me this morning for a breakfast, man, thanks! And he's yeah. just going to show you basically a quick and easy pancake recipe he's using while dieting. And uh, now you're what? You're about how many days out of your show? We're about nine days out of the next out. show. There you go. And dude is freaking ripped right now. And he's going to show you basically how to make a really healthy a nice pancake recipe that you can pretty much use uh, anytime, like off season, but even while dieting. And actually, it's pretty much a little treat for you in the morning, right? Actually, I'm actually gonna give you some tips for off season so you can uh, make it taste even better. Yeah. <laughs> there sure. you go. So show us like how you do the those uh, those protein pancakes. Okay. So very simple. I have also added a picture on my Facebook. If you have your own face on Facebook, so a lot of people have comment on, uh, have commented on it. Uh, it looks good, and I'll show you how I make it. Very simple um, ingredient that you need to put. So I'm a really I'm on a low carbs diet and very low calories. So all I'm using basically egg whites, as you can see, uh, some peanut butter. I can never go anywhere without my peanut butter. It doesn't matter <laughs> where it is. I only get one tablespoon, actually two tablespoons a day. I never leave with my peanut butter. Natural peanut butter, right? Natural peanut butter, of course. We don't have, we don't want any of that. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. But natural peanut butter. We have some stevia. We're gonna have protein powder, oatmeal, a little bit of uh, maple extract, just to put, uh, to give it a little more taste. So you can switch the flavor. You can go with vanilla extract. You can go with the coconut, banana. It's up to you. Whatever you yeah, prefer. That's right. Cool. So, very simple to do. In my recipe, I only need eight egg whites. Very simple. Here we have the measurements here. So I'm gonna pour about eight cups. Um, sorry, eight egg whites. So that's about one cup. And there you that's go. About 250 milliliters from it, I think. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Good. There you go. Have one cup, which is eight egg whites, 250 milliliters. What I'm gonna do next is. Put a few drops of my maple extract. Nothing too much, it's really strong already. So, there you go. Awesome. And it's a, tea, a teaspoon, maybe half a teaspoon, nothing more than that. Should be enough. Other than that, let's put sweetener, stevia. You can put as much as you wish. It's basically to taste. <laughs> um, don't go too crazy, of course. But if you like it a little sweeter, but he likes more. it very sweet. Like, actually, like that's a lot of stevia. <laughs> stevia is a natural sweetener, so pretty much you can use pretty much as much as you want uh, however that's going to be very sweet so you don't have to use that much but he has a sweet tooth and that's perfectly fine uh, because stevia is a natural uh, natural sweetener I allow him to eat pretty much as much stevia as you want so hey and it works I mean show your ass show your ass the the guy. <laughs> there you go that's what I'm talking about dude's eating pancakes and stevia and there you go it still has alright so after the stevia uh, all we have left is basically oatmeal and some protein powder. Protein powder, I don't want too much as my coach allowed me to have half a scoop. I'm only going to put half a scoop. <laughs> so, That's it. And he's there to watch. That's so. it, half a scoop. <laughs> yeah, I'm there, I'm there to watch this morning so you can cheat. Right. <laughs> half a scoop. That's it. Just a little more. Um, he also allowed me to have three quarter cups of oatmeal and three quarter cups is actually perfect anything more will make your pancakes way too thick and uh, with eight egg whites it's a perfect combination you can try to switch it up a little bit more yeah, there you go so this you can see the here basically I give him like spices like you know uh, all the measurements he needs to eat like you know for, for uh, oatmeal for egg whites and so on and he's just designing he's being creative and designing his own little pancake recipe with it so it's uh, you need to be creative with your food. You know he has. I give him pretty much the tools and the pieces of the puzzle, and he puts them together and and to make it enjoyable for him. You know to to follow his diet. That's a good way to put it. There you go. So three quarter cup of oatmeal, 
three quarter cups of oatmeal all in the blender. All right. So we're done with this. We're gonna mix it for a few minutes. So you make it pretty much like a like a batter for it's batter. gonna look exactly like pancake mix if you wanna look at it. Check this out. Sweet. You can smell it, it smells like maple. Awesome. <laughs> yep, it does. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright dude, so are you gonna make me those pancakes now? Yeah, my pan is ready. It should be like you so you've put some Pam on it, some cooking spray, right? Just a little bit of cooking spray to make sure that it doesn't stick. Right on. Uh, you want to make sure that it doesn't. Otherwise, if you mess up your pancakes, uh, let's just say your morning's not going to be as nice as if you do it well. <laughs> <laughs> so, once you're ready, the pan is hot, pour. So that's going to give you about two pancakes, depending on the thickness of the pancakes okay. that you want as well. I like them pretty thick and pretty big, so it gives me about two pancakes. Right on. Um, as you can see, I'm going to pour it. See, it's a nice little mix, thick. Awesome. You know, yeah, it looks good, good, man. Perfect. That's about half. I'm going to put a little bit more. There you have it. Right on. Let it cook. It should take about two minutes. Then we're going to flip it to the other side. Okay, guys. So we've been cooking one side of the pancake already. And you can see it's very important that it's not sticking because you want to be able to flip it without breaking the pancake, basically. There you go. There you go. Nice and flip. Look at that, man. Wow. She looks like, you know, French crepes. There you go. Look at and that. That's why I call it crepes instead of pancakes. Right on. I like them big. That's right. Thinner. I've been saying pancakes, but it's actually crepes. That's correct. Looks so, more fancy, right? It looks more fancy. You can make pancakes with it. Like I said, smaller portion, thicker. Yeah. If you want to, it's going to make more pancakes. But if you want crepes, uh, about two crepes. Tasty. Uh, what can I say? Alright dude, so what's next? The crepe's done? Yeah, the first one is done, the other one is cooking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have my peanut butter ready. So mix it well. So I'm allowed one tablespoon of peanut butter. So what I do is I take one teaspoon on one and one teaspoon on the other one. There you go. So to get my full tablespoon basically. It's a big tablespoon but that's fine. Exactly. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I make sure it's not too big. There you go. There you go. So, let's get one teaspoon here. Try to spread it as much as you can. Obviously, like I was saying, when you're off season or you're not competing, you can probably allow yourself a little bit more, but I'm on a strict diet. So, we're going to go with my teaspoon here. As you can see, it doesn't make you can even know. add, like when you're off season, you can even add bananas and stuff like that, fruits or exactly. whatever, The right? coach said it was good, so go for it. <laughs> um, the best thing actually is to put blueberries, uh, half a cup of blueberries to that. All right. You don't need any jam, trust me. All right. Blueberries. Then. And then you roll it, is that it? Roll it, just like a crepe. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. There you go. And let me get a knife, cut it. We're going to do the same thing with the other one, and that's why how you actually make uh, that uh, picture that I have on my Facebook. So here it is, folks, the finished product. Look at that. High-protein crepes with peanut butter. So, man, thank you very much. There you have it. I'm going to ta taste the uh, Honoris recipe. And let me know. Yeah. It's really, really good. Really good tasty treat. Thanks a lot, bro. Thanks a lot for the breakfast. That's good. Good luck uh, with the show in nine days. Thank you. Hmm. That's oh, one of my food before I it is good. Speed. It is that good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep you guys updated on how he does. And and uh, I got my other friend as well, the uh, Pro Fitness Bar, Lucas Couturier, competing in the same show. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Enjoy your breakfast. <laughs>